On this episode of Travels with Bill, we're in Kelwood, Manitoba, checking out the Kelwood Barn. Now, if you think this is a barn full of old animals, you couldn't be more wrong. This is a must-see stop, and you need to visit here when you go by on Highway 5. The Kelwood Barn opened in 2019, and it's a vision of the community. So we'll show you what's here first, then we'll talk about how it came to be, because the story of why it exists is as important as you stopping in to enjoy it. One side the bar, you'll find sort of a general store to begin with. Now, of course, this has all the supplies you'll need if you're going camping at Riding Mountain National Park or anywhere else. Some chips, some drinks, some eggs, everything. Nice washrooms, too. You know I'm always about the washrooms, right? Well, I've got some nice ones, so worth stopping in. But lots of other things. Oh, look, I see some Parkland tourism guides. Lots of gifts, so you could come here and find something for someone that, you know, is really hard to find something for. Well, this would be the place. Lots of what you're seeing is locally made as well, including locally made dog food, locally made people food, and I even spied a shelf full of powdered spices and vegetables and stuff. We'll get to that in a minute. It too, locally made, because why wouldn't it be, right? The barn is north of Nepo on Highway 5 and just a little south of Highway 19. So normally you'd come up through here, stop in, then carry on to the historic east gate of Riding Mountain Park. Now in the spring of 2022, that road is actually washed out. Parks Canada working on fixing it. But if you're here too soon, you may want to check and make sure it's back open. Even if it isn't, beautiful trip up this way. And if you're traveling to Dauphin from Nipois, you'd go by this all the time. Now in the back, a restaurant. And look at how beautiful it looks. Wonderful tables, wonderful settings. Well, you could always stop at McDonald's. Or you can come to someplace like this and have a meal that's truly an experience. And of course, support small town Manitoba while you do it. The food, absolutely delicious. Pizza, burgers, fries, everything you imagine, it's all here. Well, there's also gas in the parking lot. Now, we were here, eh, I see gas has gone down a little bit. It was over $2 when we started this trip, but thankfully it's fallen. The barn, ready to go. See the back there, the side to it? Lots of places to eat outside too, so if it's a beautiful day, why not take that food on out and enjoy it outside, either under the awning or on one of the picnic tables. There's a spot here to walk your dogs too, so if you have pets and they need a little break, there's a sign that tells you right where to go. A new addition to the whole barn is the ice cream truck. This is a second year and certainly it is super popular. Check out the truck itself though. All of the drawings on it, the painting, looks so nice. Now he did have some of the ice cream. The ice cream comes from Winnipeg. It's specialty ice cream, so it's not the cheap stuff you'll find anywhere else. I had the chocolate with real cocoa beans. Mm, truly amazing. And the nice spot there to sit and eat it too. In fact, while I had the ice cream, the owner of the little ice cream truck came to visit with me. We talked about all sorts of stuff. She is a hoot. Lots of information from her. She loves the area, loves small town Manitoba. Now, I did promise I'd tell you a little bit more about how this came to be. You see, at one point, Kelwood well, wasn't doing so well. Businesses were closing, not much going on. So the people of Kelwood said, well, do we want to disappear or do we want to try something new? So they made themselves this. It's a community group. 24 people got together to do this and they built it and then the people came. So when you're shopping at the bar, you're not just supporting one or two people, you're supporting the whole community and making sure Kelwood's a better place. See how beautiful it is around here? We saw the Riding Mountains a second ago. There's the rest of Kelwood off in the distance as well. Well, maybe we'll let someone I know explain this a little better. Eileen Clark, of course, from the Conservative government, rose in the legislature to talk about the Kelwood barn. The barn opened its doors in 2019. It is home to the farmer's daughter, restaurant with Connie Defoe as cook and manager. She makes the best cinnamon buns, tried and tested. The gas bar in the Mountain General store is managed by Kaylee Mund and Toma Axford. The store sells essential grocery items as well as locally grown produce and products. In the summer months, the location is perfect to host the outdoor mountain market. Local businesses, clubs and organizations can come together to market their products, provide food and entertainment. An ice cream truck will be the new addition for this year's weekend markets. I'd like to recognize and thank the core committee members, Bob McRae, Doug Wood and Jeff Burton for their vision and their commitment to see this project through and not give up when they were faced with challenges. Special thanks to the volunteers who contributed their time to the project and the Kelwood community for supporting and investing this business venture in rural Manitoba. Well, there you go. You thought it was just about what's inside, but it's actually about how the community came together to make this place be. That's it for this episode of Travels with Bill. Hit the thumbs up button and consider subscribing and we'll see you on the next episode. Farewell for now from Kelwood, Manitoba and the Kelwood Barn.